there, cheeky monsters. It's OB here. <laughs> I was just playing with this bouncy ball that Rocky gave me, and it got me thinking. Have you ever noticed that whenever you throw something into the air, it always comes back down? I wonder why that is. Hmm. Can you hear that noise, cheeky monsters? Whoa! Whoa! What is that? <laughs> oh, it's just a little buzzing bee! <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Bee! <laughs> now, wait just a monster minute. That's strange. When I throw the ball, it falls. But a bee can just hover there in the air without ever falling. How buzzingly bizarre! <laughs> Oh, that hovering bee has given me a brilliantly cheeky idea. Why don't we make a hovercraft? Drago and I make them all the time for our scientific experiments, and I can show you how to make your very own hovercraft. To make your hovercraft, you will need an old CD, but make sure it's one that no one listens to anymore, a pop-top cap from a water bottle, a balloon, a hot glue gun, you'll need a grown-up to do this part for you, some acrylic paint, and of course, your hands! First thing we need to do is put down some paper. That way we won't make a mess on the table. Then we're going to grab ourselves our CD and our bottle cap. We just need to make sure that the lid of our cap is pushed all the way down. Just like that. Now we're going to take our CD and we're going to paint it to look like a bumblebee, just like our friend Mr. Bee from earlier. So let's grab our paintbrush and we'll start off with the yellow stripes, I think. Oh, yellow, <laughs> just like my t-shirt. Okay, mm, here we go. So you want to make sure that you try to get the lines as straight as possible for your stripes. There we go. You know, I think yellow is one of my favourite colours. What you do, you want to get as, as many stripes as you can on there, but make sure you leave space for your black stripes. Otherwise, it won't look like a bumblebee. There we go. I think I can get another one in there. Perfect. Now I think it's time just to add our black stripes. So we'll grab another paintbrush and we'll paint in between. Oh, it's coming on quite nicely, I think. Once you've finished painting it, all you have to do is leave it to dry. And then once it's dry, it will look something like this. Now, as you can see, I have stuck my bottle cap to the top of my CD. I used a hot glue gun, but you can use any super strong sticky glue. Just make sure you get a grown-up to do that bit for you. Now, the next thing we need to do is blow up a balloon. So, let's go! <laughs> One second. It's harder than it looks. I think I need it to be a bit bigger than that. <laughs> now, once we've blown it up, all we need to do is put the end of our balloon over the top of our bottle cap. There we go. Just like that. Now, all we need to do is test it out just to make sure it works. 
Are you ready? Now all we have to do is lift our bottle cap and watch it hover gently across the table. Here we go. That was great! Hovering around just like our friend Mr. B. <laughs> Why not try making your own hovercraft at home? You could even decorate it like your favourite cheeky monster. <laughs> I'm going to find Drago and show her our newest creation. But be sure, get it? Be sure, <laughs> to join us next time for some more cheeky creations. And remember, everyone has a cheeky monster. Which one are you? Until next time, cheeky monsters, bye! Bye!